Welcome back to Acid Hot. Before we go to that break, we've been given all the action story when they come out smoke inside Nigerian political boxing ring. I will also tell you that we get big mass courage inside studio. And the reason why we call him big mass courage now because of say, person will come and talk, say, he won't become president of great country like Nigeria and not be small person. And we, when we do inside this country, we not be small people. Mm -hmm. So anybody went talk, say, he ain't got the quality to lead us. The person gonna say, now nah, great work, now in day ahead of him. And they talk of Dr. Chris David, now he be the presidential candidate of the liberation movement. And Dr. Chris David, presidential candidate of the liberation movement, welcome to Asini Hot. Good evening, sir. Ah, I'm gonna call it this in a presidential handshake. I'm gonna no. shake you with strong hand, let you know, say, no, don't be play with the player. Yeah. No wonder why they shake hands. They say now five. You see me shaking hand? That just shake. Okay, uh, Dr. Chris, we'll just go straight into the conversation now. As we prepare for election for 2015, it gets some matter when we say all the presidential candidates, aside from all the plan when they say they get, uh, it get three things when we say people they talk about it. Like I say we narrow the problem of Nigeria to three things. One, people talk about insecurity because that time uh, uh, Boko Haram they control. Uh, size of place where they talk, say, it'd be like, say, now 14 territories inside this our country. People also talk about the economy, because just they go and say, it'd be like, say, we don't even come, they borrow money to pay salary. And if we continue the way we'll take day, uh, the foundation of this country will collapse. And people also talk about the war against corruption. Before we begin the look, uh, 2015, sorry, 2019 mm -hmm. going forward, mm -hmm. maybe we just ask, access this talk when we say all the presidential candidates been talk going into 2015 and how the matter done day. Uh, so, so far. far. How you go take access to the economy, insecurity, and the war against corruption inside our great country, Nigeria? Well, uh, good evening, my country people. Wait here, I won't let Nigeria know, be say. You see that insecurity when you talk? That corruption? Even our economy, when they're bad, now just symptom of the real problem of Nigeria. So wait here, they talk, you say, you know, if you, if you they seek malaria, if malaria, they worry you. You know, if you get, some people, if you get headache, some belly turn them, some people, if you get rashes, some people, if you get fever. So, now the malaria, they display all this kind of all yeah. those symptoms. So, now the problem of Nigeria. Now, our past leaders, for the past 58 years, you go discover, say, now the same story will they talk because they, they treat the wrong thing. You know, if you, they get headache, if malaria they worry you and you they get headache, you go take uh, paracetamol. Mm -hmm. You know, say so you never cure the malaria. At all. So until we cure the major problem of this country, then these things go, they go and come, go and come. Okay, so, so it, we go date the cycle. Okay. And today I go tell Nigerians, Waiting this problem. Here. Okay, so now, now here we we'll start from now. And it be like say the way we don't answer this first question. It be like say all that problem when we talk about going into 2015, the things still there. Yes. And you don't talk say you go tell Nigerians waiting the problem be. Yes. I bet fire down. Tell Nigerians waiting the problem be. Okay, the problem, the main problem of Nigeria now waiting the we go they call inequality. That is the foundation. That Nigerian is built. Meaning, say some people big pass some people. Yes, you understand. Some people feel say they they superior to some people. Some people feel say they they better pass some people. That's why you see some people say even the rule of law self not even matter again. Now all nations when they great, all those nations when would they want run to, they are built on certain. Values. So now you go they call value system. Now those value systems now be the foundation of every nation. So it depends on the kind of values that your nation they exhibit. Now you go determine what thing go happen. Now you go determine the prosperity, or now you go determine the crisis, which include insecurity, corruption, and economic stagnation. Now for Nigeria. The predominant, the, the main problem that we need to solve is that of inequality. And that's why if you see the document when I don't bring, because I say as president, I know they can't do guesswork. From day one, now we will start to solve the problem. 
So I say, are they give Nigerians smart government? That is my promissory note. Now, smart government is going to offer Nigerians two things. The first one, we say, smart government is going to offer you a promise. That is, build a nation that offers citizens a promise. What do I mean by that one? Today, if you put five women for grand, ask them, where will I want to give back to now Pekin? Four of them will tell you, say, they won't go to Canada. Hmm. Finland, uh, US, mm -hmm. go give back to Pekin. This one, including celebrity self. Mm -hmm. So, not be saying that only poor people. The reason mm -hmm. they go tell you, say they want to secure the future of, of that, children. Of, that, that of, their, of their children. What you come in, say, people, when they born for Nigeria, their future, not they what? Secure. secure. And not true, they talk. In Nigeria today, life no mean anything. You feel just wake up, before you know they say either they, they don't kidnap this person or they don't kill this person. Look at waiting happen for waiting they happen for Boko Haram. Look at herdsmen killing, kidnapping all over the country. Life does not have meaning again in Nigeria, and that is the first thing. That is the first reason for having a government, because. No government can give life. Mm -hmm. So the life, when God don't give all of us, the duty of government is to ensure that that life is what? Protected. Dr. Mm -hmm. Chris, may I ask this question? Eh? Uh, for government, the teacher said the responsibility of government, now the protection of the lives and property mm -hmm. of the, the citizens. citizens. Yes. And we don't see, say, we they call our president, for example, mm -hmm. the commander in chief of the armed forces, we they call our governors there, the chief security officer of the states. About this, your smart government uh, promise, where you say they give Nigerians, mm. how we go take fit and sure say Nigerians get confidence, mm. say indeed we go they safe inside this our country. I mean, this one I just talk. Not be talk. That's why I say I write this book, say this is my promissory note, because I don't research all the problems. Come put the solution there. Okay, so, so what will be the solution inside this book now on insecurity matter for this country? So insecurity problem is say you need to understand say insecurity for this country get two connotations. Mm. The first one we say na conspiracy of the political elites. Many say those when the political class, it be like yes. in a game that they play. Yeah, nine nine they they play. They can't they use people live, they play Ludo. Mm. Now, what did they happen for Nigeria with that? This insecurity, when would they see? Then the second thing, na commercial gain. They just discover, say, hey, this insecurity, people, they make money from them. Um. Hmm. Because the corruption, what they talk about. So, those, these two things, now it make, we never solve this insecurity problem. Okay. And I don't talk um, until those people went there for the past 16 years, and this was when they, until we remove all of them, come out. And me, they inside, we're not going to solve this insecurity uh, problem. Okay, Chris, may I quickly chip in? May I bring her from here? We don't see you there, at least, um, at least they put out what you want to, and then um, probably, so next ten um, address them how you want to do them. But then, we, we, in the same way, we don't see a lot of um, candidates who will come talk, say, look, this is how I want to address this issue. This is how I want to address this issue. For us to also get a further understanding of this we want to, if you go for that deeper, so that make you feel break them into peace. So then they go feel because me, I'd like to ask questions to the bottom line where we say, okay, we don't turn this one. Okay, how you want to take this one? Okay, you don't turn this one. How you want to also take this one? So make we understand that read the bottom line. Make them be saying now on the surface, we just understand this particular issue. You see, the way when I talk, I might say inequality, that is the main issue of Nigeria. Now, this inequality, you go see them everywhere including all this minimum wage when they talk now, issue of inequality. So to solve inequality problem, I go bring equality to the table. And how do you do that? I don't talk, say, the first 30 days as president of Nigeria, I go organize what is called Truth and Reconciliation Summit. The first 30 days? Yes, Truth within, the first, summit, within the first 30 days. Now, what that means is that we go tell ourselves some truths. 
We go tell ourselves some truth. Everybody inside Nigeria, and I go come. No, not be everybody. Everybody not fit come. Okay. okay. But you get representative. Mm -hmm. For your ethnic group, you get we get leaders. Mm -hmm. So for now, the so, ethnic group, we get people go choose those when go represent. Yes, them. Don't, they don't they. The obas don't they. Mm -hmm. the, the religious leaders don't they. The political leaders don't they. Mm -hmm. So as we go meet, talk this thing, tell us our truth, tell ourselves our truth. Mm. Then the thing will cascade down. From there, we go come identify seven virtues. One of them are in be that equality. Okay. Say everybody for this country, they equal. Okay. And let me tell you, this inequality, waiting that thing don't they cause for this country. That's why you see, say, people they complain now, say the person went there as president now, bring people from your own side. Ask yourself, question. Before this person, the person went there, the what did he do? People from your own side too. So it don't make people, Nigeria can't be land for the opportunists. So people just, they look for opportunity. Nobody, they work for national interest. Yeah. But when you bring equality into table, everybody knows say we they equal. So it don't matter say whether or not my person did the air, mm -hmm. or another person did the air. Waiting day for you. Goldness come to uh, you. Uh, so the second okay. thing, okay. the second thing is called meritocracy. Hmm. Make everybody merit in position. Okay. That one means anybody won't go there any position. Make me say the qualify. person they deserve it. No, be said this one when they go say, now my brother, now, now my, my brother, sister. now my sister, now my religion. Mm. Now my, imagine my sister, now my brother. It come from my side. Now, what did they kill us with that too? But, 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 okay, Chris, my food chip in here. We don't see a system in the uh, before this government enter. We see a government. This government will talk to so local. Say they go fusing technocrats and them, um, you know, other kind of um, people. Politics, waste people. Waste, so understand. I will see them bringing technocrats. Change say technocrats. Now it be the ideal issue. We go actually if you address this issue, uh, the problems we will get. I be, I be. There is this one undiscovered problem where we say we still never fit up roots. See. When the foundation of a nation is faulty, there is nothing technocrat go do. So what are they tell you so now? How I go take address the foundation of this nation? Hmm. This nation is built on a fragile foundation. In fact, Nigeria, if you want to paint Nigeria, Nigeria be like building. When they sink, the wall crack, the windows they fall. The, rig, the, the, the zinc or the roof, they leak. Now, all these promises when governments, all these leaders, they, mm -hmm. they give us, mm -hmm. they, they just they talk about roof when they leak, mm -hmm. uh, window when they fall, uh, wall when they crack. Now, maybe those insecurity, uh, corruption, and this thing, when would they face? But they know they talk about the foundation. The foundation. Mm -hmm. Now, ask yourself a question. Look at this inequality when they talk. Among the oil-producing nations, mm -hmm. which of those nations they allocate oil well, give one person? Now, if we talk that, about that, this... That is inequality. If we talk about this inequality mm -hmm. and talk about, okay, oh, which people come from this place when they give oil yes, wells? Mm -hmm. yes. But this oil well belongs to all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether the person come from Aqua mm -hmm. or Delta, or he come from Bielsa, mm -hmm. Uh, the people will come from that particular place, suppose they enjoy them. Maybe we look the governors, they went on serve there since 1999, mm -hmm. and the allocation when some of them collect. Mm -hmm. Share this allocation when they collect. The kind of hunger when they beat the man will come from me, for example, Enugu State. Mm -hmm. He still they beat the man will come from Bielsa. Mm -hmm. So this one shows, say, not be even whether they give person will come from that place, control of the oil well. The allocation when they receive, what did they use and do? Now, as president of Nigeria, mm -hmm. For liberation movement, we talk say it won't free Nigeria mm -hmm. from people where we say don't put Nigeria for bondage. Yes. How you go take free and ensure say people where you they work with, mm -hmm. they're not they spoil mm -hmm. the work where exactly. they do because we don't hear people yesterday they say now good luck available Jonathan mm -hmm. Bende. Mm -hmm. People come and say, Oh, he was a good man, mm -hmm. he was a good man, but people worked against him. Mm -hmm. People they say, Oh, Buhari, he is a good man, he's a good man, but 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 how you go take and ensure say people where you they work with, they work with you and we see results. Now, the beginning, now I don't talk so. That Truth and Reconciliation uh, Summit go put everything for granted. So, and it go, we, I go spell them out. This is not the way we supposed to go. The Dubai, when would they talk so? Now, like this, they build them. The Singapore, when would they talk so? Now, like this, they build them. Today, South Korea is the most innovative 
nation in the world. Now the things when they make and they innovative is this. Mm -hmm. So we we'll go put them for grand. If you not go fit toll this line, mm -hmm. then make you step aside. Um, okay, you okay. don't talk say if no go fit toll this line, make you step aside. And they make you also bear in mind say we we'll get three arms of government. Yes. We we'll get the executive. Yes. We we'll get the uh, national. That is the. the we we'll probably make a just address them. You know the problem when we still have now that inequality hmm. because the executive thing say they they superior. Over waiting in the column, the legislature, legislature or, or, or judiciary. judiciary. Mm -hmm. That's why somebody will say rule of law says no matter. So inequality cut across everything. What would they do for this nation? Mm -hmm. So as as president, look at waiting happened for US recently now. When when a reporter for uh, White House they say make the season license, waiting the court talk. Say so you give don't out. get any mm -hmm. rights. You know, obey and the president obey. Yes. They go, they go, it go happen for Nigeria. Hmm. So now the inequality, when would they talk with that? So this inequality now they kill all of us. Now they be the problem. So until we solve this inequality problem, we are not going anywhere. So maybe somebody can't give all those promises. Those promises, now the roof when they leak, now the window when they fall, now the wall when they crack. But the main foundation will they run away. And as president, I say I will address it within 30 days. Now, after addressing it within 30 days, I said the next thing I promised Nigerians by December 15, 2019, we go get what they call the People's Constitution. Hmm. You don't even put hmm. that to. Hmm. I'm not a joke. See, I'm not be a politician. Now, those people now, vocational politicians, are be expert. The condition when Nigeria did now, if be like say they carry Nigeria day, not be say be like say Nigeria day inside theater. And when you did theater, not be nurse, they come theater. Mm -hmm. Now specialists, mm. people when sabi the thing, now they come theater. That's why we don't decide, say, I don't decide with my friends, don't decide, say, would they come liberate this nation. So within 30 days, I don't solve that foundation issue. Within by 15th of December 2019, we we'll go give Nigerians a brand new constitution. And the way where I go take Duan, it go there so simple. And people don't, everybody go there carry along. Everybody go mm. contribute for that new constitution, yes. the people's constitution. People's constitution, because the one where we we'll get so, na fake constitution, or na lie constitution, he say we the people, and we know say we the people not meet any day. Talk about constitution. So after addressing the foundational issue, the foundational issue is what I call the article of faith. Building a nation that you believe in, building a nation that you have faith in. Then from there we go produce, proceed, go rule of law. And that rule of law, the first thing I be that people's constitution. So you also address those issues that relates to the three arms of government. Okay how they go be. So everything go there spelled out. Mm -hmm. Now, also one of the things that we need to address under that rule of law, now inequality in the reward system, waiting they cause this minimum wage fight. Not the minimum wage be the problem. The problem is saying now inequality in the reward system. Let me give you an example. Look at those guys when they fight Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. How much did they pay them? Those soldiers. Mm. Then look at those guys when they work only three days in a week. How much did they collect? Running cost. Look at that primary school teacher. When they teach the few, they collect. You know, they even they get salary. Some state they even they owe 34 months. Mm. Some some governors, they say. They prefer to fly private jets mm -hmm. to pay people's salary. Okay, so now the inequality is saying, so we need to address, the constitution need to address that. So that no lawmaker go fee go use in hand, mm -hmm. writing own salary. Okay. Okay, Oga okay, Chris, you don't bring up something else. We say we don't. We will actually lead me to another interesting um, issue, and this one get to do with. Um, okay. No, but Uncle, what you go do before you ask that question? We get James. James, they call us from Lagos. James, sharp, sharp, just go straight to the point, so that we will yeah. accommodate plenty of people. Will they hear you? Chukude, good evening. We greet you, James. James. 
We greet you again, James. Doctor Chris. Doctor Chris David. David. Yeah, good evening. I thank you very much. Thank you. Because we need young people like you that we built up this uh, nation. I have been saying it several times that the people that will make this nation to the promised land will never, they never come out. I, my don't prayer, come out so. I don't want to pray with you now that my prayer is that God will let you succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. All those uh, old cargo that they are controlling us, God will remove them one by one. And just let the just call them come vocational out. politicians. Because the way you are alive this is now, I am very, very grateful. The problem we are having in this country, number one, Senate, number two, rap. Those are the people that are killing this nation. Even if we get, we have a, a good uh, president. Because all those things you are saying, if you, if you, if you write it to them, and they will, not, they will not agree to sign it, because they will know that it will not favor them. Anything that is not favor them, they don't like to sign it. Hmm. That is the problem we are having now. But I pray that the God Almighty will back you and will back you and will lead you to succeed in this. In this uh, okay, yes, thank, thank you very, very much, much Dr. Dr. Go do now and I say, Maybe we just lock our phone lines. Yes. Eh? Allow you answer one very important question now. And eh, before Nkubi go, enter. Maybe like I just join my brain with you. Mm. Now, you don't talk about inequality for reward system. And you mention minimum wage and people when they earn high mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't talk about people when they even they see something collect. Maybe we talk about those when they collect anything at all. Mm -hmm. Now, we get young people for this country. If we go by our population demographics, over 60 percent, now 35 and below. Mm -hmm. And unemployment, a serious problem for this country. Make I cite two examples. One President Mohamed Buhari being released in documents next level 2019. He said he hoped to create 15 million jobs. Mm. Alaji Atikwa Ubaka, when he released his own, let's get Nigeria working again. He talks say he hoped to carry 15 million Nigerians I come off for poverty. poverty. What did they cause this poverty? Unemployment, suffering, and the rest of them. What did be your plan for job creation for this country? See, the truth be said, eh? no politician they create job. Hmm. Now, now the truth be that. And uh, let me tell you how these people, because when they don't make this campaign promise, they go find one way to want to see say they fulfill them. And that's why they create all this problem. Let me just use one example. Today, we they talk about state police, have mm -hmm. we? We have police. We have uh, what they call a road safety. We have VIU. We have uh, Kai. Defense. We have civil defense. We have one. Mm -hmm. Last man, you have what? You know, neighborhood. How many are don't cancel? About seven. In other countries, now only one police they do all these things. So the way it is, so because of these campaign promises, even the workforce don't they over bloated. But let me tell you how I'm going to create jobs. That leads me to number three of my agenda. Hmm which I call economic freedom. Okay. Now, you create jobs by helping small scale businesses. Small, uh, scale businesses. And I don't talk, say, I will create Ministry of Entrepreneurial Development. Now, this ministry, not be like this uh, one when they share money for market to, eh? this one mm -hmm. when they call money on now, within the corner. No, money, yeah. this is ministry. Where did they go to be say? They go scout for all these small businesses. They go provide them with legal service, accounting service, then even now join them because there are people we call business angels. There are people when get money, when one invest. So you bring these two people together. So they'll be growing. Now so so you also help these small business by providing them management skills. So they will know how to manage their business. That is number one. Now, do you know in this country, when we'll be about 190 million people, for our stock exchange, how many companies did there? We have just about 44 active companies. companies. How can a nation of 190 million people get only 44? And you are now wondering, say, why unemployment day? Hmm. So I don't talk and say, what I go do be say, I go bring policy when go help the medium-sized companies now upgrade. So within the next four years, we should be talking about 
2,000 companies that are trading on the Nigeria Stock, Stock Exchange. Exchange. 2,000. Yes. And when you have them, because they are big, people, they are going to get money from the public. When company they big, not if I would go work there and my people. That is how you create employment. Not be this one when they talk. So mm. they go do this one, they not go. We, we don't even they borrow the pay salary. And somebody they tell you, say, we go create a, a 15 million. Okay, even look at you won't create 15 million job, you won't create 12 million job. And 30 uh, uh, thousand people are, mm. are unemployed. Uh, uh, you don't solve the unemployment problem. Okay, okay, Chris. No, let me okay. let me talk about one thing again. Another thing, when I go do, now be the interest rate. Interest rate of twenty five percent. No company go survive. We cannot build capital, and unemployment problem go still day. So wait, I don't talk. Say I go reduce that interest rate. You not go past seven percent. And people don't tell me, say, you know, as president, only you know, go feed your seed and do them. I say, mm -hmm. yes, I know, as I go to do them. The question we go ask ourselves, say, for the whole banking industry, what is the total loanable fund? That is, waiting be the money when they are available, when people they borrow, we go know them. Who they provide this money, we go so know them. Now, based on the TSA, when they implement, we don't know, say, now government, they provide most of those money. Mm -hmm. So if now government, they provide most of those money, why can't government drive? There are policies you will put in place that you drive the interest down. Now, until interest, they're very low. Companies go borrow money, expand their business. When you expand business, what thing happen? You go employ people. But with the 25%, see what thing they go on now? Amcon, they just they just they seize people, company, property. And when they seize your property, what thing happen? The company don't die. People don't lose their unemployment. And they see the talk say why people, why unemployment they had. Uh, now because of this interest rate when they had. So government don't create Amcom. Today, Amcom is the institution with the biggest asset base. It does not make sense. So what we need to do is reduce that interest rate. Bring everybody to the table. We discuss it. We'll reduce it to 7%. Mm -hmm. Now, even the foreign investors, when did they bring money? They, they borrow money in less than 3%. They go bring and come Nigeria here. Come they collect big money, big higher return. So even if, if you ask that 7%, that means they, they go see they get 100% returns. Now, mm -hmm. Dr. Chris, what we go do be say we go, I hear it's our phone lines, the thing mm -hmm. don't shake, so the phone don't fall down. Yes. People won't call, but we go just beg, say, Make we uh, just now two calls, now we go collect, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so that people go fit, uh, our Ogbonga visitor go fit talk where we. Mm -hmm. We get Coach Joy, he they call us all the way from Umuaya for Abia State. Coach Joy, welcome to our city hall. Thank you. Coach, good, good evening. evening. We greet yeah, you. Good evening, Paul B. And, we greet you. Uh, good we good greet evening, you. Dr. Chris. Good evening. Yes, I'm happy to hear all your talks. You know, it be like say all this way they talk. It be like saying a magic. It be like saying a film. Make they just go and make it happen. Nah, nah, nah. But you, you know, be so now. You know, say now we be politician. I not be politician, no. Okay, as you day you be presidential at parents. Yes. You are starting to be a president of this our great mm. nation. Well, I wish you well, but what I'm saying is that you can see from the since you narrated insecurity, insecurity they border this country well, well. You see the people they have been killing Boko Haram here and there. Yeah, I look as if uh, nothing they happen at all to stop this uh, insecurity and the killings. And this this rule of law too. If you say our country, you know they obey rule of law. Mm. You understand? This APC people that is ruling now. I must be specific. They know they obey, obey rule of law. That's why you people narrated there by investment. People coming to Nigeria to invest. Mm -hmm. That they said they, they let them not come because uh, country when they fit obey rule of law. So that is useless. You see, things will happen so that this Nigeria, this our great country, will always got love. Make the benefit of, make we enjoy the dividends of democracy. But me as I they talk as Kojo as a person, me I know say this 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 rulership of uh, APC where our dear 
president and me able president Buhari the leader. He really shake up well, well, oh. Mm. So me, I they talk say whether he go fit, uh, just resign, go back to do Daura. So that we go see new change. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Important contribution. Our final caller, I got Tony from Benin. Fire down, will they hear you? Yeah, to go there. This will be on our desk. Well done, well done. Thank Welcome, you, Tony. So what did I want to talk? Uh, our guest, I went from. Thank you. Yeah, the truth is, uh, are you, you say you are married. Say you don't marry. Me? Yes. Yeah, I marry, I got two children. Oh, they don't need to vote? No. Okay. The great time, I'm saying it in good faith. They only vote where you go get. Now only two votes, you and your wife. Why you talk so, Gatoni? I talk so to say, I, your idea is very failure. And if I have my way, I will support you and I will put you there. You get, if I, you go get my own, that is three votes. But the reason to say, for this country, is not the best act. They always come out. Because a lot of things have come to play out. Because it's either they read you out or they take money, push you away. So, or even by the way, they do the pressure to even vote for you. That's why I limit them to three votes your own, my own, and your wife's own. But as by your idea, you get about that is the simple truth. Mm. You may have a brilliant idea. And people they want to support you. But a lot of factors have come have come to play. The journey will come to play that because when you say they don't even allow people, we won't vote for you. They will use the instrument of uh, violence. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tony, we appreciate this your contribution. We don't get this your very important point. And maybe we come back because this one is a very serious issue. Mm -hmm. And like in don't talk, now fear when they for the mind of Nigeria and yes. say, if we come out on election day. These people, when you talk, say they be uh, career politicians. No, vocational, vocational politicians. Vocational politicians. Mm. Then go agree, make the vote of the people count. Okay, How you go take answer that one? And which advice you go give the people so that they go ensure, say, this person, when I vote for who, now I vote, now I might want. Say, so we don't know, say, the highest office on the land is the office of the citizen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is no nation when the citizen don't say enough is enough. enough that they won't conquer. Hmm. Most of this nation, when they talk, even if you go read the history of Singapore, they, they passed through all this process. Mm -hmm. It took just one person to say, OK, as I, they talk like this. And you get people, when they work together, now they change the whole place mm -hmm. around. Now, this person, when they talk, so I want, I want assurance, say, I go win the election. Hmm. Because we don't they tell people, and people know, as you know, said which are the talk now true. The only thing where remain for you now be say during when you get when that time come, stand for the truth. Hmm. So hmm. with that, we go overcome these people. But if we not, if we fear, say these people they go use talk and all those people, and see it not go even happen for 2019. Waiting we don't see. Waiting day grand. We say you know you see when God they help us at times we not even. You see the fight when they die PC. Mm. Now God put them there. Mm. They go fight themselves. Nobody go rig. Uh, 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 Chris, I won't, I won't bring them into another very sensitive um, issue. We say, I know that Nigerians go there interested in uh, also at least get, being involved in this. And it gets to do with um, the standard of um, our educational um, sector right now. Education is one very big thing. We say, we they drive nation. And if you look the level of our education now, just recently the the federal government tell an um, altered six states of this state made them declare state of emergency for education as a candidate, as a presidential candidate. If you enter, what will be that major thing where you could first address to ensure say education will really get that appropriate education for this country? Okay. The fifth pillar for my smart government is learning economy. Now, no nation prosper without a producing economy. Mm -hmm. The model when we they operate for Nigeria today is called poverty alleviation model. We need to move it toward wealth creation model. And for you to achieve that, you need to address the educational sector. Mm -hmm. Today, our educational sector, not be saying only money in need we need a total overhauling. 
What I'm going to do is that I'm going to align the educational system with the industry. Because what do they produce now are waste. What in the industry need, not be waiting educational system they produce. And if your educational system is not sound, you cannot transform your raw materials mm. into finished products. So what does the industry, the various industry, what in they need? What kind of skills? Naim we go take right the curriculum when people go they study for school. So as you they study, now one of the things too, when we also solve unemployment problem, because we are going to be producing people who are fit for purpose. So as they come out, the person who study banking already don't know waiting those other it. banks, yeah. any of those banks want. So it will also reduce the cost of training that those banks will put it, go put. and they train. Dr. Please, what we we'll go do? We say as we did like this now. Uh, time don't reach the level where we say uh, we need to carry worker commodity inside studio. But we we'll go like we could promise Nigeria and say next time when we tell you say based on say I neck don't say make we they bring presidential candidates come from November 18th. Mm. If we call you to come back inside studio or if you delay us, you go come come answer uh, questions when Nigerians go ask. I they very sure the people go they complain say mm. so we we'll go exactly. talk. We we'll not allow us ask questions. That day we we'll go just put you for center. They go to the phone the phone and then go they call and go they answer the question. If I now not be only me, I won't make all the presidential. Uh, candidates. So now you want debate. Yes. Including President yes. Mohamed Buhari. Yes. They go come, we we'll go debate, we we'll go ask them questions. Dr. Chris, your wish is our command. So our people for may us. they come. No hey, all of them, when one be president, make all of us. No no we we'll go invite all of them. Yeah. Our people waiting for us, we they talk, say Nigeria and our country, you no know, go spoil. And we go back and say, we not get plenty of time mm. to take all the calls. But like Dr. Chris, don't talk. If he gets the chance and he comes inside studio, we go make sure say we carry two or three more. They go sit down. I don't go call. We don't go talk to my mind. I see the concern those talk say they won't serve us inside this our great country, Nigeria. We go come back again tomorrow with action to do where they come out smoke inside Nigeria political boxing link. Until then. Now bye bye. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this our we'll Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.